Well, here it is, 6 a.m. in Guatemala, and I am getting my cup of coffee. I've got the pancakes ready for the men. I have their coffee ready to go. Um, and yeah, I'm a one-woman show when Sergio's not here. And so um, in the night, I have to um, get the kids, number one, their homework, which takes like two hours. I'll explain. Um, and then I have to get all of their lunches ready, which is really not lunch. It's their break time food, which they call refaction, and it's for descansa. It's the food that they eat on their break. Um, but it has to be saludable. It has to be healthy. And I struggle with that because of, especially Giovanni, he doesn't want healthy stuff. He doesn't want cheese and meats. Um, anyway, it's very difficult to come up with a little snack for him, but we do our best. And, um, and then of course all the bedtime stuff, bedtime routine that you do and, um, all of that to get up in the morning to get started. And now that it's 6 AM and I have all of this done, I have to go downstairs and get started on the kids and get them ready. And we have to leave here by a quarter to seven, because if we don't, we have two teenagers waiting down the hill for us that we pick up and take into town with us. And, um, I'd hate to you know, be late for them. So we've got a lot of things that we get done in the morning, getting backpacks together and all of that is a nighttime ritual that goes with the lunches. Getting all their clothes laid out is a nighttime ritual. I mean, we have to be very specific how we do it because we only have a few minutes, like right now, 45 minutes to get them all up dressed, ready, teeth brushed, glasses on, um, hair combed, the fits and the overwhelming and the cries and all that they do, all the meltdowns we're gonna go through in the next 45 minutes. It's so peaceful right now. The roosters are outside crowing and um, it's my best time of morning. I heard the gate shut. I have a child coming up. It's time to get busy. Okay, so here it is, 645. Yeah, are you ready? Sure. Yeah. Glasses, hair, there's her outfit. Now, listen, I have to get all of these kids dressed. I have to help her put all that on. I have to help Giovanni because he, he doesn't do that yet either. And Amalia got herself dressed, but I think her skirt might fall off, so we're going to have to fix that. Everybody's got glasses. Amalia, your shoes are on the wrong feet. Switch them. Backpacks, lunches, everything is ready to go. Dogs are in the kennel. And why does my house look so sparse? Because they are still doing construction on this level. And so, um, let's see, but there's our view. See, that's beautiful in the morning. How can you feel yucky if you've got a view like that in the morning? I mean, you gotta be happy, right? And there is our fridge and here's construction zone. They haven't gotten started yet in here. All of this will be kitchen. All of that and all of this and where she is standing, all of this will turn into kitchen. What? Take a picture of me. Yes, I am. And why does it take us so long to do homework? Because mommy has to Google a lot of the words in your homework assignment to figure out what we're doing, don't I? Yeah. And then we have to glue and tear and cut and paste and color and paint and all kinds of things, right? Yeah, I want to Okay, see is everybody ready for school? Yeah. Okay, we I gotta, we gotta go. Let me fix Amalia's skirt. Okay, so here we are, and here's the back of my car. We have, oops, this one's upside down. Drink a leak. So we've got three backpacks, three lunch bags, my coffee, my purse, and away we go. We've already got one in there eating his breakfast and four more coming down the hill. So away we go down the hill to go to school. Okay, I'm gonna video a little bit while I look at these paintings on the walls. While I drive back up to the house to get Giovanni's tablet. Because she, the teacher asked me when I dropped him off, does he have his camera? And I'm like, she has on a mask. I'm like, is what? And she's talking to me in Spanish. Anyway, she meant his tablet. I don't know. Um, so, no. And she says, well, I sent an agenda. Okay, yeah, I guess. I'm, I read it when I got back in the car. She sent it on WhatsApp. I mean, I guess I need to look at WhatsApp every day and in their backpacks and in their lunch boxes every day for all of the little things that might get sent home. Oh, my gosh. I tell you, it's a struggle. I ride the struggle bus every day. So, here we are down in Panahichel. This is the yellow building up in front of me on up here is um, where the where I dropped the two teenagers. And I dropped them already this morning. I dropped my two. It's 7.20. And now I'm going back up the hill 
back up the mountain to go get Giovanni's iPad and they need copies, actually original birth certificates. I don't think they're gonna know if they're original or not. Um, but So I'm gonna try to make copies on my printer and come back down and I have to buy paint today, yellow paint. I was supposed to pick that up Saturday, then Monday, then Tuesday, I've forgotten. There's too many moving pieces for this old lady. And then I also need to buy like 16, 17, I don't know, between 16 and 20 flowers, roses, and bougainvilleas for the, oh, sorry, for the house upstairs so that they can get them planted because rainy season will be here and we want them to grow. So, um, I'm going to have a full day today. See if I don't hit anybody coming through here. Hang on. Here we go around the corner. Okay. There we go. Isn't it beautiful though? Look at that mountain up there. And I'm going to go up the mountain. This is the, the ugh, a lot of speed bumps. Sorry. That's why it bounces around so much. They have lots of speed bumps. Anyway, life is challenging. And I just want to say, if you are a, a person like me starting over, um, you can do this. I can do this. We've got this. We've done it before. It's not our first rodeo. Um, I'm doing it all in Spanish, which makes it a little more difficult. And their methods here are so much different than what I find normal or what I was used to in the United States. And so I really struggle every day. And the homework, I mean, they send home these homework assignments where like yesterday they wanted them to um, fill up a, a rectangle that was wide with pieces torn out of a magazine. Why? We don't have magazines. Do Does anyone have magazines anymore? I was like, okay, we'll just use the colored paper that we have and stick that there. So we did that. And the, the narrow rectangle needed to be striped. Now, I don't know if that was with paper from the magazine or if it was drawn. I mean, it didn't say. And so then they'll send home a note or they'll tell the kids that they didn't do it right. And it's always my fault. Like, I, I don't know what they're trying to get at. I mean, it's the weirdest thing. But anyway, so now I, I'm going to, because I don't want Giovanni to miss out today, I want to get up this mountain, get his stuff, print out those birth certificates if I can, get back down, buy paint for the men up there so they can get it painted, pick up like 16 plants on my way through, and um, yeah, that's, that's how my morning's getting started. So here we go. Well, now I'm heading back down to Panahachel. I have printed out the birth certificates, Sergio's identification, and my passport. And I'm sure it won't be correct, but it's the best I can do. Here comes, I think that's Sele. No, I think it's, yeah, Sele, I think, walking up here. I don't know where Flory is this morning, so here she comes to work. Oh my goodness, this video is going to be chaos, isn't it? Because that's the way my day is normally. And I don't put all that on here. There's the dry corn. And I think I told you guys the other day. Can you see the dry corn back behind me? The field. Um, it's all over here. And they and they that's how they um harvest it. They let it dry in the field because you know, fear where are they gonna store it and everything's so humid. And so they let it dry and um and then they harvest it. Here's some more dry stalks. See them? But there's tons of fields right now, and they're harvesting all of these. And then um, what I was told is that they they pull them, and then they... Um, look at all that. I don't know if you can see it. My windows are dirty. I apologize. So they put it in these big bags, and then they beat the bags with a stick until the dried kernels of corn fall out. And then they can decide what are they going to do with the dried kernels of corn. You know, like, you know store those dried kernels for later, use them to make uh, uh, masa for tortillas, or what are they gonna do with the dry corn? And then the husks and the stalks, the leftovers, they feed to the cattle. It's food for the cattle. Isn't that interesting? Anyway, so now I'm going back down. I have birth certificates, copies of the kids, my passport, a copy, Sergio's identification card for here, a copy, and Giovanni's tablet, because I don't want him to miss out um, on whatever they're doing in school today. So it'll take me about 15 minutes to get back down. Um, and then I've got to buy two cans of paint and 16 to 20 plants. Oh, I forgot to take his chair out. 
and then I have to um, also buy something for the bathroom. They're putting in a bathroom downstairs, so then we'll have three bathrooms. But while we were on vacation, they lost the brand new faucet. Somebody did. I don't know who. It got misplaced. The brand new faucet that we bought to go into the new bathroom is gone. So we're having to get another one, but um, we can only get that in the capital, which is a two and a half hour drive. So when we were there the other day, we asked um, in the store if we could just get another one. Um, and they said, we don't have any, but we'll have it here Thursday, which is tomorrow. Well, I'm not driving back to the capital. So now the bathroom will be incomplete until we get back to the capital, which will be in two weeks to get the faucet. <laughs> it's just the way it works. Um, and we're also waiting on the carpenter to do his part for the cabinet down there. Anyway, um, so I have to buy some kind of part. I don't know what that is. He's going to take pictures of whatever it is he needs in the other bathroom because I have no idea what he's talking about. He'll send that to me on WhatsApp and I can stop by the hardware store. I also have to stop by the grocery store because the ladies need Habon in Polvo, which is powdered soap um, that they like to use on the floors and also they use it to scrub um, things in the Pila. They also need, and I don't know what it's called, but it's a bol bola, a bola of Habon maybe. And it's the round balls that they scrub um, clothes and things with on the pila. Um, and miga de pan, which um, now I know what miga de pan is. It's breadcrumbs. And that's what they use to make like their fried chicken and stuff. So I have to get those things at the grocery store and um, pick up some cash while I'm down here, obviously. And yeah, that's, that's my morning. And then get all that back up to the house. I'd like a bag of ice, but it depends on my timing because, um, you know, the ice will melt before I get back up to the house. And um, anyway, that, that would be my treat today, a bag of ice, you know, to make my drinks with. So we'll see if I get to, to purchase that while I'm down here doing all the other things I have to get done. And you guys, I know your days are exactly the same. It's chaos. It's just, you know, on the videos, I always make it look so nice and neat and, and, and put together. And really, this is it. This is the way life is. It's just chaos. And it's driving back and forth um, probably three times today, maybe four, before I get everything accomplished. And uh, Miga's downstairs. M Miga. Mia is downstairs crying because she wants to go for her walk. And I don't have time. I don't have time to take the dog for the walk today. So let's, let's um, just keep on trucking through this day. Okay, it is 9.45 in the morning, and I, what have I done? I went back down to the school, turned in all their stuff that they needed, and I um, went to the paint store and got my paint, the yellow uh, colonial paint. That's a cloth store. See that right there? That's a cloth store, sewing machine and all. And this is the Central Park area here. And straight ahead, right there is the Mercado. Anyway, got the paint and also asked him if he knew somebody who could paint a mural on our wall. And he said, yes, he did. So he gave me a name. And I went to the grocery store, filled up my car with gas. And I just went to the hardware store and got a handle for our new toilet so we can flush. And now I'm on my way to go and buy plants. Let's squeeze through here. Look, motorcycle, four-wheeler, bicycle, people walking, a dog. I mean to tell ya. This is exciting driving here. Well, it looks like they have my street closed off, so I'm gonna go down here. Let's go through the market. Be careful, don't hit anybody. There we go, there we go. Fit through here with the dog and the bike. Don't run over that man. Watch out, doggy. There's the market. There's a motorcycle with the kid on the back. Don't wanna hit them. Don't wanna hit her. Lord have mercy. And nobody moves, I tell you. They're not afraid of cars here. That's for sure. The dogs, the people, nobody. Okay, made it through there. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Back up the mountain to find some flowers. I'm excited about this part. This part will be fun. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, I went and bought flowers. I got 10 bougainvilleas, 10, I still have to go back and get more. 
my whole back of my car is full my front seat is full um there's a dog in the road don't hit him anyway i have flowers bougainvilleas um hibiscus um i don't know what all i got i got all kinds of stuff and um i have to go back and get the rest so um i'm trying to drive careful so i don't dump them Well, I gave in and took Mia for a walk. She just likes to get out and she loves to smell this path here because there's many dogs that come and visit during the night and she got to check it all out. And she cries until she gets to do this. So here we are and she's smelling and when we climb back up the hill, she'll be happy. Okay, have you seen the show from Downton Abbey? I know we've all seen it at one time or another, at least bits and pieces. You know, like when um, they come home from their vacation and everybody comes out, all of all of the helpers, the workers, uh, everybody that lives in the house, everybody comes out, right? <laughs> okay, so it was like that when I pulled up with the flowers and I opened the car and they saw all those flowers. I mean, there were five men at the car and two women and they were just in their, in Ketchikel, in their own language, talking about the flowers and the colors, and they want yellow. They want me to get some yellow flowers, so I may want to go back down to get the roses, buy a few yellow ones, because, you know, they just, they want yellow too, so, and I like them to be happy, so anyway, but it was just so neat. You see them just all come out, and they're just so excited to see what all is coming in the car. And uh, it makes me happy to see them happy. So here I'm up by the casitas. And there's some of the flowers that I bought. Getting ready to be planted. And there's some already planted. I mean, they are getting Pepe. a move on. Let's walk through here. And um, just get a good idea of what the garden looks like. A lot of green. This is why we need flowers. Puedo uh, mostrar este video a esta mujer. Sí. Este, uh, no venden plantas más pequeñas. Sí. Como salen como. Porque quizás. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo qué? Poner allá en ese bajo de ese mixto. Ok. ¿Más pequeños? Sí. Ok. Como pequeños. Porque hay muchas plantas que, bueno, no, recuerdo, no sé cómo se llaman. Ok. Pero son plantas que salen de este tamaño. O ok. Fuerte. Sí, Solo ya. verde o con flores? Or? Bueno, con flores. Ok. Sí. Porque más allá no desarrolla la grama. Entonces sería... ¿Y por sol o por.? Bueno, es por sombra. Ok. Sí. Ok. Excelente. So, another reason I wanted to get this video is so that I could show the lady in the nursery what my garden looked like so that she could help me pick some things that would be suitable for this kind of terrain and the sun and all of the things. So that's kind of why I was doing this. But down we go, down these stairs, out through the yellow door and back over to the main house. Basta. No.
Now, that looks pretty simple up there, but he's standing on a ledge, and I think it's about a 10 to 12 foot drop if he falls backwards. And knowing me, I would do that. These people, they don't use anything to hang on to. He's up there planting the flowers. And it's homework time. She's already had her bath for today. And Gianna has two. And then they came upstairs to finish up their homework. And Giovanni's right there with him. He's doing his little homework there using paper and glue and just following right along. And then once the sun started setting, I had to clean up. Over there, I had to clean up against that yellow wall. A lot of dirt and leaves and sweeping and and using the water hose. I'm telling you, this was a full day. I washed down the terraza, got that all cleaned up, and then I looked out and there was just fog everywhere. Look at it, it was rolling in. I'm ending this video just like I started it today. <laughs> Crazy. Um, upstairs in the kitchen, I'm making my tea. I'm gonna go downstairs and relax. It's been a long day. I got up at four and it is now, what time? It is now almost seven o'clock and usually by this time of night, I, I'm done. Like I go downstairs with my hot tea and sit in my chair and the kids go to bed and I have an hour to myself and then I've got to crash cause I got to get up and do it all over again tomorrow. Um, I ended up buying tons of plants. I went to the, um, nursery twice to get plants. The men planted all afternoon and um, it looks pretty. Lots of flowers up above. Um, then the kids did their homework, um, but they don't, you know, they disappear on me. And so I was out there cleaning um, in front of the yellow wall out here. The men had, you know, the dirt and stuff and they worked right up until after four, which they leave, I have sparkles. They leave at four and so, um, I had to go clean up a lot of the dirt and leaves and stuff that was left behind and you know getting stuff ready i'm gonna make my pancake batter and stuff now for morning getting the coffee pot ready for morning um anyway they left me all of their backpacks i got all of their um little lunches made for tomorrow i had their lunch bags their backpacks i'm carrying it down the curly stairs and somebody didn't have their backpack zipped up and it was chiana and her homework fell out that she spent 500 hours on because she's so slow and she has to get up and go play and pet the dog and go get something to eat. And so I sat there with her for, I swear to you, two hours while she colored a picture and the dog actually ate it. The dog ate her homework. I mean, really, it fell down the curly stairs and through the slat and the dog ate her homework. So there's that. Happy Wednesday, friends. Say a prayer for me. I'll say a prayer for you. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everybody. I had to add two more things into this video. Three, actually. Okay, here it comes. Our dogs barking. Okay, this first video you'll see are our vicious dogs that the neighbor came up and chewed my ass over. Um, he was horrible. He's a Texan. He has guns and he threatened to kill my dogs. And I think that he poisoned Harvard. Um, really, I think that. And um, anyway, you'll, this is his video that he recorded of our vicious dogs that are just horrible and do something about them or I'll take care of it, he said. I mean, he was just awful. Anyway, Sergio couldn't quit laughing. He sent the video to Sergio when Sergio was in Texas. Sergio could not quit laughing. He's like, look at this. The dog barely can see over the ledge. And the man is out in the, in the street area between our main house and our yellow wall in his car. And he honks at the dogs. He aggravates the dogs and they're barking like they're dogs. They're in our property. They're on my terraza barking at the car passing by. And this man is pissed. Anyway, um, you just gotta watch the video to see how vicious and aggressive, they're aggressive too, 
vicious and aggressive our dogs are. Whatever. Never mind, they don't even weigh 10 pounds each. I mean, come on now. Um, okay, the second part, <laughs> this is just stupid. The second part are the corn men. Okay, I told you in the first of the video, they're bringing, they, how they harvest the corn. These men are locals from Santa Catarina Polo down below, and they come through here because it's easier for them to go to their cornfield below our house and do the harvest, and then they carry it out on their backs, okay? So you'll see them hustling down the hill, and you'll see them coming back up. Now this is after Sergio was so kind to invite them all in for coffee and cake, and this was about 6.30 in the morning, um, on a Saturday, I think, and um, they are about our age. They're in their 50s and 60s. Yes, they are, and these bags weigh over 100 pounds each, so watch that. And then the beautiful, beautiful view, sunset. Oh my gosh, you're just gorgeous. Anyway, a few of those pictures. If you guys enjoy, watch out for those vicious, aggressive dogs that we have. Those damn chihuahuas, they'll get you every time. Look at him, he's working hard. From this angle, you can't really tell, but this incline is more than 45 degrees. It is tough. And they're climbing up this with this heavy, heavy weight, at least 100 pounds on their backs. Here comes another one. You see the red bags coming through. Up, up, up they go. They're wearing rubber boots. I don't know how they do it. It's in the bag. <clears throat> See, it's in that bolsa. Yeah. But mommy, do I have to cook it? No, I think it's just dry corn that they feed to the animals now. What's here, dog? It's a I don't know how they see the path, but they see it. You have to go look at Daddy. Daddy's back. Oh, he does gotta be hard. That man right there is easy because he's fucking so fast. Look, he can do that. I'll put it out. on his head. I would be remiss if I did not share this view with all of you. Look at this. Is that not amazing? Oh, wow. Look at that. There's the volcano. This is what it looks like to me right now. That's what I am looking at. 
But if I zoom in like that, you guys can't see all the rest of the things I see. But isn't that, look at that volcano with the sun beside it. <gasps> sun is setting the lake. Golly, I'm telling you, it just doesn't get any better. I just cannot believe it. Anyway, that's it. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday night. A couple boats left out on the lake out there. Let's see, there's one down there. That's a bigger boat. And then the little one's hustling across. And that beautiful view. Let's go in again. Look at that. Oh my goodness, does it get any better? I just don't think it does. Unbelievable. Happy Saturday evening, friends. What are you doing?